Welcome to part two of the Fundamentals of Excel 2010 course. In our last video, we saw how to enter in data into a table format inside of Microsoft Excel. In this video, we're going to see how to enter in a simple calculation. Calculations or equations inside of Microsoft Excel can contain three different kinds of items. They can contain cell references, they can contain operators, and they can also contain functions. For example, I could go ahead and add up these three cells by typing in B4 plus C4 plus D4. Let's give that a try. Now I'm going to begin my equation with an equal sign. I'll go ahead and type equals there. You always begin with your equations with an equal sign. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in a cell reference. I'm going to go ahead and type B4. And you'll see when I typed in that reference, it highlighted it in blue and also highlighted the cell I was referring to in blue. Then I'm going to go ahead and type plus and then C4. And again, you'll see that cell is highlighted in green and the cell reference is green. And then finally, plus D4. So I've said the contents of the cell should be equal to B4 plus C4 plus D4. And then I'll go ahead and hit enter. And you'll see I get the total of 600. I could do the same thing right here. Again, I'm going to begin my equation with an equal sign. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in B4 plus B5, the next cell down, plus B6. And again, you'll see each one of those cells is formatted in a different color, and the cell itself is outlined in that color. And I'll hit Enter, and you'll see I get the total for there. Now, it's also possible to use something called a function inside of an Excel equation. A function is sort of a predefined operation. Many times they follow the same format. And the format is going to many times be equals and then the name of the function, followed by a parenthesis, and then the range that you want the function to act on. So for example, if I wanted to follow this format and I wanted to total something, I could use the sum function. I'm going to go ahead and delete the contents of these two cells here, and I'm now going to go ahead and do the sum function. I'm going to do equals sum and then an open parentheses. Again, you got to remember you begin with an equal sign and then you have the name of the function. We're now going to have the range of cells that you're going to include in this total. In this case, I want B4, C4, and D4. Now in the preceding example, we had to actually type in each cell equals B4 plus D4 plus, or B4 plus C4 plus D4. Well, that worked fine because we just had three cells. But if you were trying to add up a column of 100 numbers, that wouldn't really be possible. So with a function, what you can do is you can enter in a range. And you type in a range by typing in the first cell, a colon, and then the last cell. In this case, the first cell is going to be cell B4. So I enter cell B4 into that. Then I type a colon, which sort of means through, and then I click on D4. So what we're saying here is this cell should be equal to the sum of all the cells in between B4 and D4. I'll close my parentheses and hit enter. It's going to be much easier to use that function rather than to type in all the values. And I'll do that one more time. I'll click here on B7 and type in equal sum parentheses, and you saw how I could click on a cell, type a colon, and then click another cell to enter in that value. But what you can also do is just simply highlight. Let me show you that one more time. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I typed in equal sum and open parentheses, and then I'm just going to highlight the cells that I want included in the calculation. So I'll start there and drag down, hit enter, and I get my total. Now we could go ahead and enter in these same equations in the cells below or to the right of it to sort of complete this table of information. 
Now, if you don't want to type in those equations again, what you can do is you can use the autofill tool. The autofill tool is very easy to use. You're going to notice that I selected cell E4 here. You'll see the bold highlight around the active cell. You're also going to notice that there's a square black marker in the lower right hand corner. Now normally when I'm working with Excel, my cursor looks like this thick plus sign here. Whenever I have that thick plus sign, that's when I can drag and highlight. But if I point at that square, you're going to see that the cursor changes into a skinny plus sign. It's no longer the thick plus sign, it's now the skinny plus sign. When I have that, what I can do is I can press and hold and drag down, and it will autofill the contents of whatever cell I had selected down into the next cells. You'll see now I have the total for both of those rows. And I can do the same thing with the columns. I'll go ahead here and click on the total for January. I'll point at that square, press and hold and drag over, and you'll see it automatically copied that equation over into the preceding columns.